crying a little. <laughs> So the first thing you do to, while considering homelessness, homelessness is our scenario. So come with me. But before we do this video, I like to tell you, sometimes your assessor will tell you, assume all checks are done, patient safety has been checked, patient allergy has been checked. If they tell you like that, that's fine. But if they don't tell you like that, please do the exact protocol, okay? I approach my scene. Come with me, let's get started. I approach my scene. I see my scene is safe to approach. I provide privacy for my patients and I do my hand IG according to World Health Organization. Palm to palm, right hand over left dozo, vice versa, fingers into legs, fingers into locked, fingers into locked, rotation of the thumb, rotation of the thumb, tips to the finger, tips to the finger, and the wrist. My hands are clean. And now I proceed. So the next thing for you to do is to read your scenario. So I'll pick up my scenario. On your exam day, you don't need to read your scenario aloud. But because it's a video, I just want you to understand the concepts. I'll read it aloud. Mrs. Ellie Brooke is a 78 years old lady who is a chronic smoker. She has been homeless for some time now. She has a terrible leg ulcer on her leg and she had a gastric motor accident since 2011. The ulcer has been infected and with a lot of exudates. Wound swab has been taken awaiting results. She has a past medical history of type 2 diabetes and currently taking anti diabetic medication and antibiotics. I'll really take it. Mrs. Ailey Brook is a chronic smoker. She has been homeless for some time now. She has a terrible leg ulcer on her leg and she has a gastric motor accident since 2011. The ulcer has been infected with lots of exudates. Wound swab has been taken awaiting results. She has a past medical history of type 2 diabetes and currently taking anti-diabetic medication and antibiotics at the moment she has no place to stay so she is in the hospital currently receiving treatment for her leg occupational therapy and following her up for placement kindly assess this lady using the e to e assessment so now that's our scenario the next thing i want to do now is to proceed to my patients hello hello are you okay can you be a bit horrible, please? Is that okay? Mm. All right. So my name is Violet. I'm one of the nurses looking after you today. All right. Mm -hmm. Can I know your full name, please? My name is Ellie Bruce. And your date of birth, please? 15. Okay. Okay. Fantastic. Thank you very much. Can I please double check that with your wristband, please? So imagine the wristband. I'll check with the wristband now. So look at your paperwork and look at the wristband. I have here Haley Brooks, Haley Brooks, date of bed, 15th, 5th of July, 1940, hospital number 100010. Assessor, with the paperwork on my hand, I have the right patients. All right. So, Mrs. Haley, can I just confirm with you? Do you have any allergies? at all no. you don't have any allergy that's why you're wearing a white wristband always refer to the white wristband if the patient is wearing a red wristband say that's why you're wearing a red wristband because obviously you have an allergy so that's why you're wearing a white wristband because you do not have any allergy and i'm very happy with that so mrs Haley, the reason i'm here this morning is to carry out an a to e assessment on you is this a convenient time please Yes, all fine. right, fantastic. So, guys, take notes now. I did not ask the patient, Are you having any pain? I did not ask the patient, Do you want to use the washroom? Guess what, guys? Because they are time wasters. Remember, we are carrying out an A to E assessment. So, you can ask for pain in disability. You get so don't waste your time. I just said, Are, are you happy for me to catch that? The patient said, Yes, all right. So, come, come on, let's go ahead. So, I'm going to leave you with a call back while I assemble all the equipment I need. Is that okay? If you need anything, just use your call back, alright? So now, guys, I'll do my hand hygiene according to World Health Organization. Palm to palm, right palm over left doors on, vice versa, fingers interlaced, fingers interlocked, fingers interlocked, rotation of the tongue, rotation of the tongue, tips to the finger, tips to the finger, and the wrist. My hands are clean. I'll put on my apron. So 
assessor, please can you confirm my equipment is clean and ready for use? Yes, that's correct. All please right. proceed to your patient. Thank you very much. So, Haley, I'm back. Are you still happy for us to continue? Yes. All right. So, I'll be very starting. Good. Okay. Very good. Well done, Miss Haley. I'll be starting with your airway. So, for your airway, because I have been asking you some questions, we've been talking, I can confirm that your airway is patent. But I like to ask you, do you think you are having any obstruction at all to your airway? No. You feel your airway is patent. No. So can I ask you to cough for me, please? <coughs> okay, I can confirm your airway is patent. Well done. So now I'm going to be doing a full set of observations on you, okay? Can I please see your left or your right hand? All right, fantastic. So have you ever had surgery on this hand, please? No. Okay, you've never had surgery on your mm -hmm. hand. Fantastic. I can see the hand. There is no swelling. Sorry, Mrs. Sally, hope you don't mind. There is no swelling. There is no inflammation. I'm happy to use the left hand to take your blood pressure. Is that okay? Yes. I'm so sorry. So on your exam day, please do not expose the patient the way I'm doing. The patient is going to wear a clothes that it is easy for you. But if they do not wear, please, you're not allowed to expose the patient like this. Okay? All right. So, Haley, I'm just going to take your blood pressure now. Is that okay? Yes. I'll tie my cuff two to three centimeters away from the cubital fossa. All right. Can I see your knee beds, Mrs. Ely? Take note, I tied the cuff, but I have not honed the machine. Can I see your knee beds, please? All right, fantastic. I can see your knee beds. There are no infections. There are no swelling. I'm happy. I quickly do a capillary refill. It's less than two seconds. Then I'm happy to put my probe. All right, fantastic. So now I'm going to be putting on my machine. So make sure, because you want to buy time, you want to tie the core first, change the knee bed, put your probe, then you put on the machine, all right? So I'm going to put on my machine. So on your exam day, on your news chart, the name of the patient will already be written for you. The date of birth will already be written for you. And the date of admission will already be written for you. But the date and time, you must write it by yourself. Now, Nos Violet, how will I know the date and time? It's written on your scenario. Assume it's today, for instance, the date of your exam and the time is 10 o'clock. So any time and date they give you, that is what you use. So for today, we are using 20... No, today is 10... We are using 10 of 12 and the time is 10 o'clock. So now if you don't know how to chat your news chat, I have done a video on how to chat your news chat. Just try and watch it so that you have a clear definition and do the assignments there, all right? Are you feeling it coming? Yes. Okay. So guys, our BP has read and the BP is 110 over 80. Make sure you chat it 110 over 80. You look the second time that you are chatting it exactly at 110 over 80 and you look the total time because you don't want to make a mistake with your news chart. Now the pulse oximeter has read as well and it's 96. I'll come here under SPO2 scale 1. You know we're only allowed to use scale 1. I'll put 96. Thank you very much, Haley. Can I just take off the spot from you? Is that okay? Mm -hmm. All right, thank you very much. So, Haley, I'm going to be counting your pulse for two minutes. Is that okay? Guys, make sure you count your pulse for complete two minutes. If you count for one minute 56 seconds, the assessor is going to fail you. That's not your portion. So, please count for complete two minutes. All right, Haley. So I'll be counting my pulse for complete two minutes. On your exam day, there will be a breast watch on the patient table. Assessor, my time starts now. And the assessor will start counting with a timer while you are counting with the pulse. So make sure you count for complete two minutes. 
So because I'm teaching, literally, I won't count for complete two minutes. All right, thank you very much, Haley. I will just quickly chat, okay? So Haley, I counted your pause for complete one minute and your respiration for complete one minute. So I'm sorry I didn't tell you because most times when we tell patients it's altered the reading. I hope you don't mind. All mm -hmm. right, fantastic. So Haley, now I'm going to be checking your temperature. So I can see your skin. There are no swellings. There are no redness. There are no infection. I'll be taking your temperature now. so guys they are complaining that some people are taking the temperature here at the temporary region no you're supposed to take it at the forehead so look what i'm doing so i'm going to take your temperature now fantastic thank you very much so i've taken a temperature temperature is 37.0 I'll put a dot on 37.0. All patients in no skin exam are alert. I put a dot on alert. Patient is saturating on air because, of course, the assessor has not told me that patient need OCG. So I'll calculate my new score. New score is one. So when a new score is one, you don't cram anything. Go to the back of your news chart. At the back of your news chart, you are going to be seeing the monitoring frequency. So patient new score is one. Monitoring frequency is four to six hourly. Escalation of care is yes. And you put your initials. All right. So Haley, you are having a new score of one. It is not bad. It's just because your blood pressure is a bit on the low side. Okay. So I am going to monitor you every four to six hourly and I'll be escalating your care to the doctors and the nurses. Is that okay, Mrs. Haley? Yes, All right. Fantastic. You. So Haley, I did your breathing. When I did your breathing, I counted your respiration for complete one minute. The rate of your respiration, the depth of your respiration is okay. There is no stridor. There is no use of accessory muscles. There is no vitreous sign of respiratory distress. There is no unequal entry of air. And I'm very happy with that, okay? So it's all looking good. I also did your saturation. Your saturation was 96. That is really good. So for your breathing, we are happy with your breathing, okay? So I went for that to do your circulation. So when I did your circulation, I did your blood pressure. Your blood pressure was around 110 over 70. That is a bit low. That's why you're scoring a 1. So we are going to monitor you every four to six hourly is that okay all right so i did your pause for complete one minute the strength of your pause the reading and the rhyme are all okay we are also happy with that okay so when i checked your neighbors did your capillary refill you are properly perfused and there is no cyanosis and we are also very happy with that so for your disability can i just ask you do you know where you are please of course where are you I'm in the hospital. Oh, fantastic. So I'm happy. And who am I? You are a nurse. Okay, fantastic. Well done, Mrs. Ailey. I'm so happy you know where you are. So are you having any pains at all in any part of your body? Mm, on my legs. Oh, on your leg. Okay. Mm. Sorry about that. If I ask you to score your pain, zero is the least and ten is the highest. What would be the pain score? That's seven over two. Oh, bless you. You are really in serious pain. So, but that's because you have a leg ulcer, and you know, um, as a result of the accident you had some years ago, you had this leg ulcer that would be dressing. So, that's why. So, what I would do is I will escalate with the doctors so that if I check your drug chart, there is no analgesic. I will escalate with the doctors and we'll see how we can solve that pain, okay? But for the meantime, mm -hmm. I'm going to elevate the leg for you, okay? And see if there is more blood supply there, okay? Mm. I will see how it goes. Can we continue this A to E assessment? So you want us to stop and sort out the pain first? The one you know is the best. So are you happy for us to continue? Yes. Okay, so I'm happy with that, okay? All right, so the next thing I want to say is, are you going to the toilet well, passing good amount of urine, any issues with your urine pattern, with your toileting? I don't have problem with that. Okay, that's fine. So what about your blood glucose? Has anybody checked your blood glucose at all? Some time ago. Okay. okay, what was the blood glucose reading? Five. Um, Five, okay. So Assessor, can you confirm my patient blood glucose has been checked today? Yes. And what is it? 
five. Okay, fantastic. So the normal blood glucose is actually four point zero to eight point zero. So five is within the normal range. Okay. So all right, I move over to exposure. When I did your temperature, it was within the normal range, thirty seven. I'm happy with that. So do you have any rash, any wound, any swelling in any part of your body outside the one we know on your leg? No. Okay. All right. So that's fine. So Haley, I will just ask you some few questions. With regards to the medications you are taking, because you have a leg ulcer that we've been dressing for some time now, and then you're also diabetic, how do you comply with your medications? Do you comply with your medications? Like take your medications as at when do you? No, I do. I you do? Okay, that's fine. We're happy you're taking your medications as at when do you? All right, so another question I want to ask you, how do you mobilize? How do you carry out your activities of daily living? How do you work? Do you work independently? Mm, but I live when working. Why do you live? Is it because of the leg or sir? No, I'm sure. Okay, all right, so that's fine. So I just want to ask you, we from your scenario we there, we saw that you've been homeless for some time. How long have you been homeless? About four months now. About four months ago, okay. That is my major concern now. Okay, that's your major concern. So, and I also saw in your scenario that you have been referred to the occupational therapy and physiotherapy. So, what I will do, I will ask them to reassess you. I will try and do a referral and discuss with them so that we can see. And I think there will be a waiting placement for you because what the occupational therapy and physiotherapy does is, for those who are homeless, they try to, you know, get placement for them. So I'm sure they are working currently on you. Sometimes they can even do a best interest meeting and see what is best for you. They will come around, discuss with you, see how they can help you solve this problem of homelessness. But at the moment, hope you are comfortable in the hospital. Okay. All right, that's fine. So um, they said your wound has been infected and it has a lot of exudates. And they said they got a wound swab. Is that correct? Did they take a swab from your wound? Yes, they did take a swap, so we'll be awaiting the results. All right, and you say you comply with your medication. So, do you have any concerns for me at all? Thank you. You don't have any concerns, mm -hmm. okay? Now, as regards your drinking and abusing substance, um, how do you want us to help you? You drink. You've been abusing some drinks lately. Is that true? Mm, yes do you want to stop that yes because considering your health and considering the wound you are having on your leg abusing medications and abusing substances is not very good for you so you are happy to quit aren't you I'm so i'm quit. going to refer you to the alcohol and substance misuse team and we'll take it up from there are you happy for me to do that referral for you all thank right you. fantastic so mrs haley thank you so much for you know i'm so excited like you have made the job easy for me so thank you so much for your participation i really appreciate it. and you don't have any question to ask me all right thank mm -hmm. you so much so i'll leave you with a call there if you need anything at all do not hesitate to use your call there and we'll attend to you all right mm -hmm. thank you so much so i'll take off my apron thank you. i'll take off my glow and guys it all goes into the clinical waste and i will do my hand hygiene Palm to palm, right palm over left dosum, vice versa, fingers interlaced, fingers interlock, fingers interlock, rotation of the thumb, rotation of the thumb, tips to the finger, tips to the finger, end the wrist, my hands are clean. So guys, thank you so much for watching. This video, by the way, is for channel members. So make sure to subscribe, make sure to share, and make sure to like. I will see you all in my next video. Thank you.